Hi there guys, I've just loaded up my previous save that I had in survival mode. Um, I'd saved just here, uh, just after I'd maxed out my stats, I'm in survival mode, because I realised my stats are not maxed. Um, if you have a look here, they're all at 10, but I didn't have maximum penalties. So I've loaded my save back up, which was a little bit trickier to do than I expected. You need to go to load, then select your character, and then go down till you find the survival version of your character. It's not that one, it's this one. So that was my survival character, and this was the, the save that I'd uh, just reloaded. What I did then is I very quickly built this chair, which I'm gonna sit in, and I'm gonna wait for three more days. In fact, I might have to wait for five days, but what I did previously, on the, on the video before this one, I waited for three days, and I thought that would be maximum penalty, but it's not. You need, I think, at least five days. You might want to do a little bit more, just in case. Uh, because just to check, I reloaded, I waited for a few hours in the, the chair, and my stats actually went down even more, so I was able to duplicate more of your special books, and then I was able to increase my stats even higher. Now, I wasn't going to make a video on this, what I was going to do was uh, just um, leave a comment saying this is not max stats, you can get a little bit higher than this. Uh, but rather than do that, I wanted to just show you the actual complete max available by using this technique. And then obviously what I haven't tried is using alcohol and drugs in order to uh, possibly lower my stats even more uh, but of course, in order to do that, I would need to have them, uh, I'd need to be in survival mode, and I'd also need to have these penalties already in place before I do that. Now, I've only just um, made this character before I started making these videos, so she is only level two. Uh, she has not yet even spoke to Codsworth, so I don't have access to enough alcohol or enough drugs at this stage of the game to be able to test that idea out. So unfortunately, I can't test that right now, but. It would be an interesting thing to test because I do think that getting drunk, I'm just going to do this one more time. I really do think that getting drunk and taking the drugs is going to lower my intelligence, maybe my perception, uh, so that I can then buff it up even higher than I've got it at the moment. So I'm just going to let this one complete. Then we'll have a look in my pit boy and see what my stats are. They were all at 10. Um, obviously that was the maximum I can get them to, but I do have those penalties in place. So hopefully, from this, I will have additional penalties and they'll now be lower. So you can see my strength has gone down to six, so I've got an additional four penalty there. My agility's gone down by three, and my luck has gone down by two. So we've got six, 10, 10, 10, 10, seven, and eight. So let's just try this one more time, see if it changes any more. And uh, then we'll duplicate some more books using our duplication factory. It's hardly a factory. It's uh, two machines and uh, a conveyor belt in a square. And once we've done that and maxed them all back up to 10 again, I'll do a save so that I've got my survival mode saved. Then I will um, exit back into a different mode other than survival mode. So now we've got 6, 10, 10, 10, 10, 7, 8. So it didn't change again. So it looks like that is the maximum penalty. And as you can see now, I have very slow movement and the screen keeps going dark on me. So, oops, I accidentally took them all straight out. So let's put those back in. And I'm pressing the wrong button. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. Right. A little bit of congestion. There we go. Okay, that's better. So now we're starting to books. Obviously, I need the ones I picked up to go back around because they're the duplicates. Let's keep that 
you know, I must have been a bit late there, because obviously uh, I only had four. As I said on the previous video, I'm not looking at the books going into the conveyor, I'm not looking at the line. What I'm looking at is where it changes from the this conveyor storage to this your special. And then I'm picking them up when it says your special. I'm leaving it a fraction of a second. So now and now and now. You can see, you can see where I picked them up when they're, they're giving me attribute points. But that seems to be a much, much easier way of duplicating them than uh, my previous videos where I'm talking about noticing where they go into the conveyor. And also, of course, with that toolbox there, they're all, um, apart from when they go underneath, like that one, they're all going into the same area. So it's very easy for me to just stand still and pick them up like this. I'm doing this too late, which is why I only have three, so I'm going to go a little bit earlier. If you're doing them too early, then you notice the number starts to go down on the conveyor belt. If, if you get them at the right time, you pick one up, and the number stays roughly the same on the conveyor, because one goes out as one comes in. Soon. So I'm down to just look now, but before I continue, I'll pop these back in. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, and I'm going to have a quick look at my Fit Boy. I need one more, so I need to pick up one more look. I'm pretty sure if I just drop the ones that I'm holding on the floor, that one of them is already going to be. Oh, that, that, that one will do. Now, what you can do here, which is also very useful to know, um, I've got my conveyor set up here, connected to two of these generators. Now, the way I have it, you don't want to do this. Instead of doing this, that, get rid of that. Uh, so don't connect the wire to the actual um, vacuum hopper. Instead, connect it over here. Because that now, th these two are connected together, that gives me six electricity. That's enough for all of this conveyor, and obviously this here needs six in order to work. So if I turn off one of these generators, now I've only got three. But because it's going to this conveyor first, the conveyor valve is still working fine, so all the books are going to go around into the storage, but I, ha I don't have enough electricity now for the hopper. So the hopper, it's got a few in there, have one coming out the end. But because the hopper is no longer um, in operation, it's now going to collect all my books up in here, which is it's just useful for collecting your things together. So I'm going to take all of those. So I've now got um, my points all maxed out at 10. I'm going to go over to my bed and do a quick save. I'm not going to go over to my bed very quickly. <laughs> So I'm going to do a very quick save, just so that I've got this survival mode saved. Now I'm going to go into my settings, go to gameplay and change down to very hard. Again, it's going to warn me that I can't change back, but that's okay, so I've got that saved. As I said before, if you want to change back, you've got to go into load, go to select character, and then look through here until you find the survival version of the character with that name. Um, I do have another survival, but this is just the game I'm playing that has uh, mods on it. I've used the mod for the tent, because it annoys me that I can't just put a tent down and save. That seems a bit silly, So, and I, I prefer to be able to put a tent anywhere than have to wait in time in a town and build a bed. So that's my game I actually play. And I'm going to quickly save again now, just to give myself um, my house. So there we go, I now have my house. So now I've removed all of my penalties. So this is now my new max stats. Strength, 16. Perception, 17. Endurance, 20. Charisma, 15. Intelligence, 20. Agility, 14. And look, 19. 
I possibly could get them higher if I stayed in survival mode, kept my penalties at maximum, and then drank alcohol and took drugs. I don't know if there's any other way at all of lowering these statistics, uh, but that could increase them. But I mean, this is already, I think, really high enough. It's, it's what you it's all what you need. And then, of course, with my intelligence at 20, and also my night person, uh, once I've got my level high enough to be able to get that, my intelligence would be at 22. And um, that means that if I'm leveling up by crafting Molotov cocktails, I would be able to do it much, much more quickly. So if you have followed my leveling up video, then make sure you do this first and then do the leveling up afterwards because it will, it will be twice as fast because you're getting probably twice as many points because you have twice as much experience. So that's all from me, guys. You take care. Have a wonderful day. Remember to like, subscribe, and to share. Bye-bye.